Welcome to part 15 of modding the original Xbox. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to use Chimp to upgrade your original Xbox's hard drive. So we'll need a replacement hard drive. I have a 40 gig IDE hard drive. IDE is a standard for the original Xbox, but you are limited by its size. You will not need anything except the replacement drive if you are upgrading with an IDE drive. You also can get a SATA hard drive. The size of this hard drive is 250 gigabytes, but you can use any size hard drive you wish, except understand that no more than 2.2 terabytes will be used by the Xbox. Most people choose to upgrade to a two terabyte hard drive. Some choose three terabyte, but understand you will not be able to exceed 2.2 terabytes. If you select a SATA drive, you'll need a SATA to IDE adapter, as well as an 80 wire IDE cable. Now, if you choose a different board for SATA to IDE, be sure to verify it has a master and slave jumper on it. We'll need to connect this to slave initially so that we can use Chimp to copy from our master drive over to the slave drive. As for the IDE cable, the Xbox has a 40 wire cable typically and you can tell the difference between the 80 wire and the 40 wire IDE cable by how large the wires are on the 40 wire cable compared to the 80 wire cable. You'll also need to verify that the IDE connectors are far enough away from each other that you can still plug in one end into the motherboard and one into the DVD drive. For the SATA hard drive, it's highly recommended to put tape on the back of the hard drive, like I'm doing so here, so that when the IDE to SATA connector connects to it, there are no shorts as the pins are very close to the end of the hard drive. I personally don't recommend putting tape on the IDE to SATA adapter side as I've had many of these adapters short out when I've done so. The next thing we need to consider is the jumper position. Now right here is the jumper for master or slave. We want our drive to be in slave mode initially. So change the jumper and make sure it's set to slave mode. Here is the stock hard drive that was in my original Xbox. Now you should check your original Xbox hard drive to verify what the jumper setting is on it. By default for this one it was set to cable select. We need to remove the jumper and find the graph here and move the pin from cable select to master. So simply just pull the jumper out from cable select and put it on to master. If you elected to go with an IDE hard drive instead of a SATA hard drive, we'll need to do the same thing as the SATA hard drive and pull the pin out of cable select and make sure it is hooked up into slave. The last thing we should need is a Molex power splitter. This will allow us to plug in one Molex into it and power both hard drives from it. You don't necessarily need this, but the other options you have is to use an external power supply or another computer's power supply to power up your second hard drive. So if you're using the SATA drive, go ahead and get your IDE cable and plug it into the motherboard as well as the DVD drive. You don't have to worry about folding it yet because we don't want it folded at this point. Take the longer end of the IDE cable and plug it into the original Xbox hard drive which is set to master. You should then take the splitter cable and plug it into both hard drives. You can lay the second hard drive on top of the DVD drive. So at this point this is what your SATA configuration will look like and at this point this is what your IDE configuration will look like. So far our second hard drives are only plugged in through power only. Okay, now on your computer, I've actually set up an XP virtual machine. Uh, not for this tutorial specifically, but for future tutorials. You're going to want to go to the GitHub page and download Chimp261812. We're going to go down to Clone or Download. Click the drop down and select Download Zip. Then you're going to save the file and extract it. Now I'm going to open up FileZilla and FTP these files onto my Xbox into the eApplications folder.
Now that they're on the Xbox, we'll switch over to it. And we're going to navigate down to System, File Explorer, E, Applications, Chimp, and we're going to run default.xbe. Now at this point, we'll need to connect the slave hard drive to the Xbox. So while the Xbox is still running, just unplug the IDE cable from the DVD drive and plug it into the IDE drive, if that's what you're using. If you're using the SATA, do the same thing. Unplug the IDE from the DVD drive and carefully plug it into the SATA to IDE adapter board. You may need to move the DVD drive out of the way like I'm doing here. And you may have to set the hard drive carefully on top of the Xbox motherboard or on top of the GPU heatsink. Just be very careful where you set it. And be sure that the IDE cable is seated all the way into the IDE adapter. Okay, back on the original Xbox, we're just going to press A. Just press A again. We're going to select number two, soft modded Xbox, and say yes. Yes to agree. We're going to scan our IDE drives, and we can see we've got two hard drives here, master and slave. Now we'll go down to two. We're going to select selective, and then go down to option four. Now to select option four, you have to press X, and then confirm yes. Now our slave hard drive is being formatted and now our hard drive is getting cloned. Now you should keep an eye on the speed which is right under the word cloning. If you are not getting around 10 or more bytes per second, you should restart the Xbox and start the whole process all over again as this copy will take quite some time to do C and E. Now we'll want to select yes to lock our slave drive and hit OK. Now we can click one again and we can see our second drive is locked. And now we can go to option five and click on number six, shut down. Now we can hook up our new hard drive permanently. Okay, so just unplug the slave IDE cable and the Molex. Now we'll remove the jumper pin from slave and put it into master. Now plug in the IDE cable back into the DVD drive. You can remove the IDE cable and the Molex from the original hard drive. We can disconnect the Molex Y splitter cable. And we can plug in the Molex into the new hard drive and the IDE cable into the new hard drive. Now if we turn it on, we can see underneath File Explorer we have an F partition that is 30 gigabytes. So we know that this hard drive is not working perfectly and is formatted all the way. If you use a SATA hard drive, you can go ahead and remove the SATA to IDE adapter for now. Set the hard drive off to the side. Remove the IDE cable. Remove the Molex cable. Remove the IDE cable from the old hard drive as well as the Molex cable. Now we're going to fold this IDE cable a certain way so that we can get it to work inside of the original Xbox. So when it's plugged in, we just need to make a quick bend right here. And then we're going to get the DVD drive close. We're going to bend the cable backwards so it plugs into the DVD drive. So bend the cable backwards toward the DVD drive, make another fold with the IDE cable, and we'll plug this in. And now we'll fold the IDE cable up to go toward the top of the IDE drive, and create another bend, like so. Now we'll make sure that the DVD drive is settled correctly. Bend the IDE cable up and over, now screw your hard drive back into the tray and re-add it. I didn't screw my hard drive back into the tray because I'm not going to be using this hard drive in this machine, but re-screw the hard drive back into the tray, run the power supply wire through the channel, and now make sure your SATA adapter board is set to master. I'm gonna apply a bend here, and then I'm going to twist the wire so that it will go underneath the main wire. 
like so. And then just apply some bends and you should be able to slip it underneath the finger on the hard drive tray. Now re-add the Molex connector and you should be good to go. And now you can see we have an F partition of 230 gigabytes. So there you go, that's how you can upgrade your hard drive using Chimp. If you like what you saw, hit me up with a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll check you out in the next video. Thanks for watching.